What's up guys, Evil D here and I'm back for some more random Esperanto slash gaming lessons and in this lesson I'm going to teach you the difference between Horde and Parole, okay? Now first up I just need to get my night vision on because otherwise I won't be able to see who I'm shooting, just like the good Esperantist I am. So first up, for when I first learnt these words what I did is I learnt the difference, not really like between them because it's kind of hard at first, but what I did is I kind of learnt the particular meaning of one of them and then that kind of just helped me get both of them um, down pat. So, first up, I pretty much say that Pord is used in every situation where you'd say for in English, except for the following exclusion. If you're ever going to say on account of, then I would say parole. And when I say account of, I mean um, when you're going to say for, but it's like on account of something. Uh, you know, that's kind of its subtle underlining meaning. So yeah, the best way to see this in action is we're going to use some examples. So let's say um, for, for the word Pord, Okay, that is generally used in Esperanto when you're talking about something that's um, destined for something, something that's aimed for something, or even on some occasions on behalf of, and also talking about time and stuff like that. Now, let's, let's actually use some examples now. So, for instance, if you said um, a room for meetings, okay, so what is that? It's a room and it's destined for meetings, so you'd use cord, okay, so you'd say Chambro Kod Kunvenoi. You would never say Chambro Pro Kunvenoi because that would actually be saying a room that's on account of meetings, like on account of meetings. You know, it doesn't really have much meaning, I guess. Maybe there is in some context, but none that I can think of. So, that's one where, where you could also, uh, where you'd use Pod. Another one would be, for instance, um, uh, if you're talking about something. Uh, like for instance, voyage por plezuro. What you're saying there is it's a tr trip, and it's the purpose of the trip, the aim of the trip is for pleasure. So it's a voyage por plezuro. That's the aim of the trip. Oh, hello. How are you? I just randomly take you out. Ooh, I want your shotgun. Oh yeah, come on. No, wrong button. Yes, I have it. Okay, another one is when you'd be talking about money. So if you'd say um. Uh, for three dollars, that would cost. You'd say, for instance, por three dolaroi tio costos blah 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 blah. Okay, so that odd. Oh, okay, so that's why I gotta go out into this elevator. So that's when you'd also use por. Another one might be um, when referring to yourself or another. So you could say mi um, faris tion por she. I did that for her. Okay, but you could also use pro there because pro means on account of. So you could say mi fa dis tion pro shi, but there's a slight difference in actual meaning there. And it depends on the nuance you're trying to give. So mi fa dis tion pro shi means I did that um, for her, okay? So um, my aim was for her. But if you said mi fa dis tion pro shi, what you're saying there is I did that on account of her. Not necessarily for her, but on account of her. So that's the difference there. You can kind of see it in the nuance. Uh, let me. I accidentally put away my shotgun. Give me a sec. Oh, hello! Didn't see you girls. Uh, 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 take that! Take that! Oh, that was brutal. That was really brutal of me. Okay, now there's also going to be certain constructions which are always designed in a certain way and they use one or the other. So, for instance, you could say um, Porteke, and that is a certain construction and that basically means so that. Um, now I'm just going to try to think of an example. Uh, you could say, "Mi faris tion podeke mi povus gaini blah blah blah." So that's basically saying, "I did that so that I could um, achieve or gain blah blah blah." Okay. So podeke there means so that, and it's, it's kind of interchangeable with uh, "tio." Now another another one where you'll see is "pro tio ke," and that means on account of that that. And it's basically a, a long way of saying because. So, for instance, you could say, Mi faris tion um, pro uh, tio ke um, mi volis uh, gaini um, ion. So, I did that uh, because I um, gained something, okay? So, yeah, there's certain constructions which will always, up, up, always use one or the other. But just remember, if you ever get stuck, unselect. I don't want to, oh, wrong button, wrong button. Pro means on account of, okay? Oh, did I not turn the lights on? 
light up my way with my shotgun. Uh, this is not working out. I might actually die. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, one sec. One sec. There you go. I just need to get my A game on. Let's turn these lights on. Uh. Oh, I'm messing with everyone right now. <laughs> okay, so yeah, port port means destined for or aimed for. So if you're when you're saying for, if your actual underlining meaning is like your whatever you're saying is destined for something or it's aimed for something. So Mifadis Tion Portishi, I did this for the aim of her. Then that's a time where you'd use port. But if you're saying um, pro, uh, you're saying on account of, okay? Cool, now let me just turn, no, wait, I already did that, I kind of got lost in the moment then. And my cat is going crazy right now, right behind me, which is not helping at all with my concentration levels. But that's okay, I'm almost at the end of the lesson. So yeah, just remember those two, and I hope this lesson has kind of cleared that up for you guys. So if you've liked this video, give it a like. Share it around with your friends, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. And if you're not there, well, I will find you, and I'll throw my frigging cat at you, which is climbing up the wall right beside me right now. <laughs>